Tesla looks like it's going a lot lower. And that's kind of where the, the point is. Uh, closed at 804. Here is the 8, uh, 825. Closed at 804. This thing starts losing 804, guys. This thing has room. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly update show. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, I have my wife's out of town for the next couple of days, so I got both kids uh, tonight to have two different practices in two different towns. So I have to I have to make this a little bit uh, short and sweet. Obviously, we'll get uh, into the meat and potatoes tomorrow uh, at morning uh, strategy. But again, same you know, a different day. Uh, same outcome. Uh, markets continue uh, to play the same way. You got oil and energy continue uh, to rise. They continue to be uh, aggressive selling in technology, aggressive selling uh, in the banking space, and just aggressive selling in general. You had uh, you had the Dow down two and a half percent, which is pretty big. You had the S and P down three percent, uh, and the tech heavy Nasdaq was down uh, nearly four percent of the day. And, and the question is, well, what's going to get this market finally? Uh, going higher, I, I don't think it's it's a it's a necessary important question of one day event because if you guys remember, there was a capitulation at that deemed to be a capitulation sell off uh, all the way at uh, February the twenty fourth. That was the official start of the invasion into the Ukraine. So I don't think it is going to be one specific day that's going to be quote unquote deemed the bottom. Again, when you when you reach a bottom, the markets need to start living with reality and they need to stop going down on bad news. So far, we're still going down on bad news. We're still going down on the same bad news that we had a week ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, four weeks ago. And the most important part is it's a continuation of bloodbath. People are starting, uh, people started buying the dips uh, a month and a half ago, because again, they believe the market was never going to go lower. Then we deemed below the 200 day moving average on the queues and yada, yada, yada. And now we are back in striking distance of the February 24 lows. And it's going to continue that way until we get some really aggressive news with some sort of aggressive, definitive almost kind of like ending like. Now again, whether that is a truce, right? Uh, obviously a truce ceasefire, whether it's temporary or permanent, uh, will obviously be a really big band-aid, will obviously be kind of a big deal for uh, for the bulls. But the most important part is eventually, and you see this in every type of aggressive sell-offs, even going back to uh, the, the generational bottom of uh, 2009, just sellers just stopped going. St sellers just stopped getting aggressive, and that's the most important thing. Eventually, sellers get tired, just the way buyers get tired, tired, and there's a roundabout top in the market. Sellers get t eventually tired as well. But it, again, we're not really getting any uh, evidence of a tired market, a lethargic, complacent seller market. For example, they just refuse to sit. They keep on selling and selling and selling. The key is every single day to find better value to the sell side market, right? I think the, the oil theme, the energy theme that had this really, really great run finally started to showing a little bit of inclination of tired, you know, a little bit of being tired. And you start looking at names, for example, uh, like an Oxy, right? They actually, you know, kind of went red, right? You know, again, obviously you would still need to confirm today's channel for a backside move down. But yeah, at least you, you see a little bit of rest. Now, again, you could turn around and say, well, it's just resting. And it could, it absolutely could. But the point is, you're not guessing that it's resting. You're waiting for the bottom channel here. Uh, a name, for example, for example, like ADM, we had a nice you know, little pivot on today, um, had a blow off top here off $88. If this thing starts building and confirming today's channel, I mean, it could go all the way down to the five day moving average. So again, we're not guessing, we're waiting for this channel to, uh, waiting for this channel to confirm. Names like Amazon, for example, that are just getting absolutely pillaged, right? You could turn around and say, look how much room, I can't believe it went down. It's a buy, it's not a buy. Look how much room it still has all the way down to the January January 24 lows of 2,700. There's still meat on this bone. Look at a name, for example, a, a, a UPST, right? Like look at UPST, first close today 
under the 50-day moving average. Look how much room it has to go. Look at Qualcomm, right? Not every single stock is so oversold. Look at Qualcomm, first closed below the 200-day moving average. They were coming for uh, the 145 uh, weekly puts today. This could be on the radar as well. So there's still definitely meat on the bone. Names like NVIDIA, right? had big, big moves down, but when you take a look around, we're not even at the bottom yet at the channel of the January 24 lows, and these are stocks that were holding up despite the cues confirming the January 24 lows last week. So there's still a lot of room, there's still a lot of meat on, uh, on the sell-off, uh, even names like Tesla, right, that you could trade on both sides of the equation. Look at the bottom of this move, right? The, the bottom of the, of the February 24 lows was 700. We're still at 800, man. The only thing that kept this thing up was this linear regression line here at 804. We still got a lot of room down. So when you're, when you're formulating your opinion today, and again, is it possible the market has a dead cat bounce tomorrow? Look, anything is possible. Again, like we've said uh, in every video and every sell-off, stocks just don't go straight down. There's always uh, bounce aggressive rip backs in the market. Uh, you know, buyers get you know aggressive, sellers just get comfortable and it results in a dead cat bounce. But the overall thing you have to remember because we are underneath the 200 day moving average stocks might move up but they're not going higher and that's the most important part when you're looking uh, at a bear market scenario when you're looking at a sell side bias remember always look at the big picture while we're underneath the 200 day moving average we are still sell bias and even if the market has a dead cat bounce and again that's a very very big if I'm, you know, like pretty much every, you know, every setup for tomorrow to the sell side, um, you know, is, it's very, very possible stocks to get, you know, a little bit tired, a little complacent, start going, moving back up uh, to get a little bit of cash flow uh, to the upside. So obviously, again, same game plan for tomorrow. We're looking for any weakness. We're looking for any uh, downside uh, contribution from the sellers uh, below today's channels. Uh, let's quickly go through uh, quickly go through today's uh, session. Again, you had a lot of really good aggressive moves to the downside. Uh, Tesla actually it was two sided pivot on Tesla today. The first one to the upside, uh, eight fifty six, and needs to build. Here was in the morning, and I'll show you the sell side bias. The one really, really one nuts. So here is the 856 to the upside, right? 856 to the upside. You know, trade it up to like 866 and then really, really aggressive reversal. We'll talk about the reversal there in a second. Uh, 143 on Walmart didn't, you know, only a 60 cent move, not a big move at all. Uh, Walmart took out 150, uh, 163 rallied only about 50, 60 cents, and it came back in with the rest of the markets so and nothing really on Walmart. Uh, Coinbase closed at the lows, it closed at 62. Uh, I think I still like it, I, it closed at the lows at 61, only, only went down a dollar, but the point is it has room uh, to the downside. Here are the, the really big value pivots today to the downside. And this is kind of what my, my point going into tomorrow's session. Stocks still have a lot of room down. So here is letter U, uh, 888, if it builds below, can flush. Right here is uh, letter. Oh, excuse me. Here is letter U. Right, 888. Here's the whole 888 channel. We talked about this on the weekend update. I believe we did. Anyway, uh, point is, it took out 88, uh, closed at 81. This thing has more room down uh, for tomorrow. Uh, Roku got hit. Uh, here is the big pivot on Friday. Uh, 25 of builds below can flush. And here is the pivot for today. The continuation. 120 for builds below can see more selling. Right here is Roku. Right, here's Roku, here's the 125 from Friday, here's the 120 from, uh, excuse me, 125 from Thursday, 120 from Friday, confirmed that today, went all the way down to 112 uh, at the lows of the day. As again, as you can see, next stop is uh, 105. Uh, Square got absolutely destroyed uh, right off the open. 105, if it builds below, can flush. Here was Square, right? Here was Square, here was the 105, traded all the way down to 95, big move there. They were coming for the weekly 95 puts, as you can see here, really big move down on Square. Uh, NVIDIA got manslaughtered, uh, 223 and a quarter for builds below, can flush. Here was NVIDIA, absolute manslaughter, close at 213. Uh, you got 209 coming up, next stop ahead. Uh, again, same thing, guys, every single day, same thing. Uh, here's Tesla, right? 825, big level, held four times on Friday. 821 is a 60-minute support, needs that 820 ceiling to get hit. Tesla looks like it's going a lot lower, and that's kind of where the, the point is. Uh, closed at 804, here's the eight, uh, 825. 
closed at 804. This thing starts losing 804, guys. This thing has room to 782. And then look at the bottom of this channel here. So guys, have a great night. God bless. Sorry to cut this a little bit short. Again, I'm playing daddy duties. Only one, only one of me today for the next couple of days. Have a great night. God bless. And I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.